concentric jump. This is a little tool in chief that most people don't have a clue what it means or what it does, why you would need it. It's a, it's a behavior of how something is done in the program. Concentric jump. All right, so it's a function of the edit tools. It's used to move equal distances on all edges of, an, of a CAD object. And any CAD object could be a, a roof, a plot plan, a plot plan, a sidewalk, a, a whatever, a countertop, anything that's made out of polylines, CAD polylines. Concentric jump. All right, it's uh, used for property setback lines, floor borders in a room, ceiling trim setback, trim on a gable end, chimney cap. Use it to resize doors and windows. All right, so there's a bunch of different uses for concentric jump. You could even use it for countertop overhangs. So let's go into Chief, take a look at that. And let me close this view. Let's go open up. I had that plan right here. And if I go here, let's say that's your property lines for your plan. Okay, so you've got them drawn in place or where they need to be. Now you need to show the setbacks. Okay, and, and maybe the setback on three sides is five feet. This is the icon that's used to control a concentric jump. Now depending on your toolbar, it might be in different places. But you need to get to that icon. We want to look for the word concentric right here. Concentric. And I'm going to make this jump five feet. So when I move the corner of that object, watch what happens when I move that. It's going to jump five feet every time I move it. So I grab the corner, and boom, it jumps five feet. Jumps five feet. All right, so what you can do is understand that as soon as you hit the copy button, as soon as you hit the copy button, right now there's a copy of that CAD object sitting on top of the original. What I'm going to do now is take that and move that copy in five feet. And there's my setback lines. And then I'm going to double click. I'm going to open the dialog and say, well, okay, maybe I want that to be dotted lines, to be black, whatever. All right, so that's how you can do your setback lines like that. So, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to use that. I mean, you could click on a room and make a CAD polyline or a molding polyline make a room polyline and I could jump that line in a certain dimension let's say you know I didn't want five feet I want you know 12 inches so now I could concentric jump this every 12 inches so I'm going to show that there's a border inside the room 12 inches from the edge and it'll jump any shape whatever you want it could be the same ceiling trim setback Okay, maybe you have a chimney drawn and you're going to jump it out, you know, two inches. See, it's concentric jump, two inches. Click copy. Pull the corner of the copy. Jump it, two inches. I missed. Click. Copy. That could be my cap of my chimney that I could go in and adjust in 3D to be exactly where I want it to be. So that's concentric jump. There's a lot of uses for it once you start getting used to it. One of the things that you'll find if you have that icon turned on, and, and people have, you know, if you, if you pull a CAD line and you move an end, you notice that both ends of the CAD line move now. If you put a window or a door in your wall and you pull an edge of it, you'll notice that the whole thing resizes equally because it's jumping concentric. It's moving concentric. So when you're done with that, make sure you set that back to zero and turn it to back to the default, and you're good to go. So that's concentric jump. There's a few uses for that.